So we must be free from sin through Jesus to be filled with the Holy Ghost and preach the gospel with signs following. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First John 3. We'll look at verse 3 as we did last night first, and then we'll jump down. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Verse John 3, 5. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. We have the hope of being accepted by him on the day of judgment, and he's free from sin. We must be too. And Jude 24, again, he gives us grace to keep us from falling. And he's made us free from sin by his death, burial, resurrection, and we can choose that grace to overcome temptation step by step every moment. Praise the Lord. Verse 6. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, not known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil. But the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. For a seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he's born of God. Amen. In verse 8, committeth, as we've gone over before, is the word poio in the Greek. It means to do or make one. In the same way one chooses at one point to repent, leave sin, put faith in Christ, and come into God's kingdom. In the same way one chooses to reject Christ, go back to sin, and leave God's kingdom and re-enter the devil's kingdom. Yeah. We're saved as long as we're in a biblical state of loving, faithful obedience to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. There's no disobedience in heaven, and neither is there in Christ's kingdom on the earth. Yeah. We have to be holy as he is holy. So we have to live in his character. We have to speak his name, but also we must live in his authority. Luke chapter 10, please. He says, in my name shall they cast out devils. In my name, in my character, in my authority. We need to know, we must know, that in the name of Jesus, every devil must go as long as we're living in the character. Remember what the devil said to the son of Sceva. Jesus we know in Acts 19. Paul we know. But who are ye? <laughs> and the devils left them wounded and naked. And the devil did not come out of the man. Only oh, when we didn't have the character of authority, these little devils go screaming out. Yeah. Luke 10. After this, we will look at how the church will look. With signs following. Luke 10, verse 17. And the 17 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us in the name. He said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Christ has given us power, dunamis, miraculous power and force over all the power of Satan. Nothing by any means can, shall, will hurt us. Amen. Nothing to fear. We just go forth in the power of Jesus and cast every devil out in Jesus' name. Amen. We destroy the kingdom of the devil and build the kingdom of God wherever we are. Amen. That's the job of a Christian. Amen. He has all power in heaven and earth. That means Satan has none. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Christ gives us victory. He's called us to triumph through his death, burial, and resurrection. All we have to do is believe and obey and go and clear up the spoils for him. Hallelujah. Lastly, how will the church look with signs following? Back to Mark 16. Look at verse 17, a, a biblical picture of what the church will look like. These signs follow. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Number one. When we will go forth, obeying the Lord to preach the gospel, believing him to confirm his word of signs following, number one. When we'll go forth living in his name, his character free from sin through his death, burial, resurrection, and his authority, the power of the Holy Ghost, number two. And do what he says. The Lord will use us to cast all the devils out. Their mental hospitals will be emptied. Mm -hmm. yeah. People walking around the streets, talking to themselves, doing all kinds of crime will be delivered. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. All the wickedness that happens in darkness will be dispelled. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of those on drugs will be set free. <laughs> Gang warfare will stop. White collar crime, blue collar crime will stop. Yes. All the violent crimes, rape, incest, fornication, a murder, these things will stop because the devil that inspired him to do them will be cast out in Jesus' name. Amen. Drunkenness, drugs will stop, but those devils will be cast out in Jesus' name by you and me. 
billion times a day by the sinners. That has to move us with compassion and with holy indignation to preach the truth to everyone we meet. Number two, they shall speak with new tongues. Divine revelation will come forth. Jude 20 says, but even on building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying to the Holy Ghost. We've been filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. I yield the Holy Ghost that you might give us utterance in other, in other tongues. Amen. We built up. The messages can come forth from the Lord in the proper time as well. The gifts have not passed away. The manifestations of the Spirit have not passed away. The Lord still wants to super, supernaturally communicate to His church and through His church to the world. In the early church, prophetic messages did come forth. Tongues of interpretation did come forth. Words of knowledge, words of wisdom, and serving spirits, and healings, words of miracles, gifts of faith. The Holy Ghost still wants to manifest these things. These are indications to glorify the Lord. Indications of his reality to a world that does not know him. Yeah. When we preach, and the Spirit of God can tell us, hey, there's sin in your life. You, you, just, you just went and stole... Ten dollars. Someone's shocked. Yeah. The boss of a truth will say, they'll say, oh, God is in you of a truth. Right. When they're convicted, they're, the secret of their hearts are revealed, First Corinthians 14. Yeah. We can yield to the Lord that He can operate supernaturally through us by obeying and believing Him. Amen. Because I'm the same, verse 18. They shall take up serpents. We see that happen in Acts 28. Paul Amen. was in a fire. A serpent fastened itself on his hand. He took it up, felt no harm. Amen. Also, serpents in the scriptures. Speak of demons. Yeah. Well, take demons out of people's lives and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ set them free. Amen. They drink any deadly thing and shall not hurt them. Physically, it means poison, but also spiritually. Bad doctrine, demonic oppression. We don't need to fear anything. Jesus said, nothing by any means shall hurt us. Great is God in us and he is in the world. Mm-hmm. Lastly, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. As we operate in the power of the Holy Ghost and preach the word of God and signs follow, hospitals will be shut down. Yeah. Hostels, hospice, yeah. all these things. Hallelujah. Amen. Sick will be healed. Yes. The lame will walk and run and leap, praising yeah. God. Yeah. And God's glorious church will be glorified in Him. Mm-hmm. And the world wide and darkness will come to the glorious light of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord wants us to preach His word everywhere yeah. with signs following. So they can have undeniable indications that he is real, he's alive, and he's the only way they can be saved. Yes, amen. Let us bow before a holy God tonight. Yes.